Do you want to improve the growth of your YouTube channel? If you don't know where your traffic is coming from and how people are interacting with your videos, you won't know what to improve. YouTube Analytics helps you to understand your audience, discover who watches your videos, what they watch, where they come from, and more. These insights will help you to interact with your viewers in a smarter way and even help you to reach new audiences. In this video, I'll analyze the top 10 factors in YouTube Analytics so you can improve the performance of your videos and your channel. Hello, my name is Herman Drost from DrostDesigns.com. If you want to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic, leads, and subscribers on autopilot, hit the subscribe button or hit the bell notification icon. Number one, channel overview. If you click on analytics, overview, then you'll see the watch time, average view duration, views, and estimated revenue of your channel. You'll also see the likes, dislikes, comments, shares, videos and playlists, and subscribers. Most important aspect of the channel overview is the top 10 videos. Also shows the top geographies, so most of mine come from the United States. Gender, 80% of male, 21% female, and traffic sources, we've got YouTube search, external, suggested videos, and other. Playback locations, we've got YouTube watch page, embedded external websites, YouTube channel page. If you want to drill down deeper, just click on any of the links to one of the top 10 videos. It'll show similar statistics as ones for your channel. Number two, real time. This shows the amount of traffic that your channel received in the last 48 hours and the last 60 minutes. And it does it by individual videos. For one of my most recent videos, it received 300 views in the last 48 hours and seven views in the last 60 minutes. If you get a lot of views within the last 60 minutes or 48 hours, then your video will be suggested and promoted by YouTube. You can also click on an individual video and it'll show you the last 48 hours, last 60 minutes, the geography, device type, and operating system. Number three, watch time. This is one of the main ranking factors for YouTube videos. So if you get a high watch time, for your videos, then they'll do well overall. So this is under watch time reports on YouTube analytics. Here you can see the videos that receive the most amount of watch time. Then you can also view the geography, most from the United States. You can also check an individual video by putting it into the search box. For this individual video, how to monetize YouTube videos on your phone, you see that most people came from the United States, secondly from India, then United Kingdom. If we check the subscription status, most people that watched the video were subscribed to the channel and non-subscribers was 39% and I got 44% views from the non-subscribers. Number four, audience retention. This is directly under watch time. This refers to how long people are staying watching your video. You've got the average view duration and the average percentage viewed. The videos that are listed here show the videos that have accumulated great amount of watch time on your channel. If you want to check the most recent video for audience retention, just put it in the search box here. The average view duration is the estimated average minutes watched per view for the selected content, date range, region, and other filters. For this video, most viewers watch at least 50%, so average percentage viewed is the average percentage video your audience watches per view. 50% of viewers watch it for half the video. You have absolute audience retention. This shows how people are viewing it all the way through the video, so it starts off are really high, then it dips at the beginning and then slowly decreases as time goes on. Relative audience retention refers to videos of a similar length, but they could be in a different niche. So in this video, it starts off average, then actually goes way above average for at least 50% of the video, and then it dips down towards the end. So one way to improve that is to maybe put a card or try to have a different ending so that I can stay above 50%. Number five, demographics. As you can see, most people that view my channel are male, 83%, 18 to 24 years old, 81%, 13 to 17 years old, 80%, 25 to 34. However, amongst the females, 27% is 65 plus years, 27% is 54 to 64 years, and 27% is 45 to 54 years. Number six, traffic sources. 
Most of the traffic for my channel comes from YouTube search. Secondly, from external sources. It's from websites, apps that embed your videos or link to your videos on YouTube. Thirdly, from suggested videos. These are views from suggestions appearing alongside or after other videos. So if you drill down uh, YouTube search, then it'll show you the most popular keyword phrases that people use to find my videos on the channel. It'll also show you the geography. Let's view the traffic sources for one of my most recent videos. So for this video, how to monetize your videos on the phone, most of the traffic came from notifications. Secondly, from direct or unknown, this is traffic from direct URL entry, bookmarks, and unidentified apps. Thirdly, from browse features, this is traffic from the home page, home screen, subscription feed. Most people found the video from the traffic home page. Fourthly, they came from search, so if I click on search, this shows the keywords that were used to find this particular video. So this means I can take some of these keyword phrases and create new videos, especially if this video is doing well. If I click on geography, then it'll show where most of the traffic is coming from also. Number seven, devices. You can see that most people are finding my videos from their computer. Secondly, from their mobile phone, then from their tablet, TV, then game console. Most are viewing from their Windows computer, Android device, iOS device, and Macintosh. Interaction reports. Number eight, subscribers. At the top here, for the last 28 days, I've gained 760 subscribers, but then I lost 224 subscribers. So I have a total gain of 536 subscribers for the last 28 days. And out of those subscribers, most came from the YouTube watch page. Secondly, came from the channel. Thirdly, from other, from unspecified sources. Then from YouTube channel, then from interactive features, such as the end screens, branding, watermarks, and annotations. Then from YouTube search, subscriptions from the search results, based on these queries. Overall, it seems that most people are subscribing to my channel from the YouTube watch page. This is probably because YouTube is promoting my videos as suggested and related videos. Number nine is cards. It shows the videos that receive the most clicks from the cards used in the videos. So for instance, this particular video, 35 card teaser clicks is the number of times a teaser has been clicked. Over 17% got teaser clicks per card teaser shown. This is the average teaser clicks per teaser impression. It measures how often viewers click the teaser after seeing it. And it got 25 card clicks. And 73% were the clicks per card shown. This is the average card clicks per impression. This measures how often viewers click the card after seeing it. Let's take a look at the card type. Most clicks came from the actual video, and secondly, from the associated website link, and thirdly, from the playlist links. Number 10, end screens. This is the call to action end screen that you place in the last 20 seconds of your video. So the end screen element that received the most clicks is the best for viewer. If we click end screen element type, this confirms it because best for viewer received the most end screen element clicks. Secondly, it was subscribe, and thirdly, the playlist. Now you know how to analyze the performance of your videos using these 10 factors of YouTube analytics. Keep this important thing in mind. Select one thing to focus on to improve the growth of your YouTube channel, such as thumbnail design or your video presentation. After you've made the change, monitor YouTube analytics to see if it made a difference. For example, has your audience retention improved and your engagement increased? Keep repeating this process so you can see continuous growth of a YouTube channel. If you want to learn how to grow your audience on YouTube, and generate views and subscribers on autopilot, click the subscribe button below and check out the related videos. I'll see you in the next video.